everybody, Stacy here. Welcome back to my channel. This is Rusty. A couple weeks ago, I had an apple eating contest versus Happy Goat. So this week, I'm going to do a pumpkin carving contest versus the goats. If you guys are liking these videos, no, 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 don't start yet. No, nope, don't start yet. No, no, not yet. Almost. If you guys have been enjoying these videos, please consider subscribing and sharing with your friends. Also, I want to take a moment and say thank you guys for checking up on me after my COVID video. Um, that really meant a lot that some of y'all reached out to me after seeing that. My plan is to cover this pumpkin with duct tape and then cut out a pattern and that way the goats will only be enticed to eat where the pumpkin's exposed and create a jack-o'-lantern. Um, I'm going to give them another pumpkin that I'm going to put right in the pen and they could just have at it so I don't know how that's going to turn out. So we'll see. <laughs> we got a nice silver pumpkin. I don't know which side of the top because it was missing a stem. I got that pumpkin for the goats because some of the goats are missing their horns. Okay, Rusty. Come here, you can have at it. Hey, don't eat that, Rusty. He was chewing my camera holder. I think I'm gonna put his on the ground so it's a little bit easier for him. Hey, Rusty, look. Looks like Rusty doesn't want to be alone in here without his girlfriend, so I'm gonna take that pumpkin and bring it into the pen and all the goats could try to eat on it. Hi, Happy. Come here, goats. Look what I got. I got a treat, Chico. Well, that's one way to do it. Just to eat it like a normal goat. You guys are totally gonna lose this contest if you keep that up. I'm so gonna school you. Alright, I'm not quite sure on what I'm gonna use for a pattern yet, so I'm just gonna open this one up and gut it. You guys, it is hot out here. It's mid October, but I think it felt more like fall when I was down in Florida last week. pattern online that I'm going to try to do.
<laughs> this is not coming out good at all. I should have drawn it on here instead of trying to freehand it. All right, let's go see how the goats are doing. You guys aren't participating. Hey, pumpkin. Oh, pumpkin's so proud of her pumpkin. <laughs> she came over and walked me over to it. Oh, Rusty's after the seeds. Lester's working on one of the eyes. Oh. Did you sneeze on my lens? Gross. Okay, you guys about done? It looks about done. The goats are done with their pumpkin that has a pattern, and I think they did pretty good. <laughs> so let's take this tape off and see what it looks like. <laughs> oh my gosh, that came out pretty good. All right, I'm gonna cut the top off and scoop out all the seeds and save them because um, pumpkin seeds are good for goats. They're actually a natural wormer. So if your goats have any kind of parasites and worms, um, pumpkin seeds do help. The goats finished up the jack-o'-lantern pumpkins and now they get to do a freestyle. Hi, Buttercup. You excited? Are you excited, Buttercup? the springs to kind of hold it so they can eat it a little bit better. <laughs> so all the entries are in and I'm really impressed with how well the goats did. This is the first pumpkin that we duct tape and cut the pattern out of. So let me reveal that. There we go. <laughs> That's pretty good. Now this is mine. Don't laugh. Um, I was trying to do a goat face. And it's just awful. It looks like a zombie goat. And this is the goat's second pumpkin where they just freestyled it. And for some reason, they actually cut out an eye, an eye, and a mouth. So that was really weird. But here's that one. You can kind of see it's like a wonky zombie pirate or something. Eye, eye, and a mouth. So here's the image that I was trying to copy onto my pumpkin. Freehand. <laughs> Not even close. Okay, so now it's your turn to be the judges and let me know who won. If you vote for the goats down in the comments, put the letter G, and if you vote for mine, put the letter S. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.